everyone, Jekyll here. I hope you're all staying at home and social distancing when you're not. Please keep yourself safe so you can keep on liking and commenting on my videos! <laughs> anyway, today's engine was the second choice from the Twitter poll and I've been sitting on it for a while. So, let's get on and learn how to beat some dragons. Buster Blader, as a card, was first released in Dogbook Game 1 in October 2004 making it one of the oldest cards I ever talked about in this series, at least thus far. The first wave of support he got focused solely on Dark Paladin and bringing him out ASAP. However, that didn't work out, so they scrapped the idea and created a second wave of support, which pretty much reinvented the whole Dex idea and released it in Breakers of Shadow in January 2016. Due to this video not being a deck analysis, maybe I'll do something like that, but an engine review, let's get on to when the engine became a thing, which is in maximum crisis. More than a year later, in May 2017, where Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman was released. The deck as a whole has a few tournament tops to its name, mine included. However, the engine is not as prevalent, but it's still an interesting one to talk about. Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman, the main card of the engine and the one that makes it work. There are two important things one needs to remember about. Buster Blitter Monster and the Destruction Sword card are sent to the graveyard as cost, so you cannot Ash this card. Also, it can summon a Buster Dragon from the graveyard. However, the monster has to be properly summoned, of course. Destruction Sword Memories is the card one will probably send to the graveyard for Prologue's cost. The most important thing to note about this card is that the in graveyard effect can be activated the same turn this card hits that zone, meaning it can be changed to Prologue. This Synchro Monster has three effects, but only one of those is important for the engine, that being the DNA Surgery-esque one. The fact that summons a Buster Blade from the graveyard is decent, while the final one can equip a Destruction Sword monster to a Buster Blade or monster as a quick effect. This is the bestest of best boys. His effect prevents activation of every Dragon type monster's effect, at least the ones that opponent controls, no matter where they are. Hand, field, graveyard, banish zone, deck, doesn't matter. The additional bonus of gaining 1000 of both stats, dealing piercing damage and switching all dragons from the opponent's side of the field to defense is very nice as well and can provide some ODK potential. However, due to the game mechanics, the position switching effect won't work on Link Monsters. Those two cards, Buster Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman and Trap Trick, boost the amount of cards you can use to access Prologue to 9, which is 22.5% of a 40 card deck, making the engine pretty accessible. Now let's bring back the short showcase portion of the episode, haven't done that one in a while, to show how the engine works and how much advantage it can from a single normal summon. As you can see, the engine provides the user with a plus 2 in card advantage, on top of the Buster Blader lock, which is in place preventing activation of the opponent's monster effect on the field until the user's next end phase. However, in this day and age, one turn is all that's needed to capitalize on this and end the duel. The complete core of the engine is made out of one Buster Blader, or Buster Blader the Destruction Swordmaster, three copies of Prologue, one copy of Memories, and one of each, Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman and Buster Dragon. The engine can be further enhanced with three copies of Trap Trick and Buster Whelp, not to mention the additional copies of Extra Deck Monsters, Main Deck Buster Blader, and Memories. The engine's primary focus is to establish Buster Dragon and Buster Blader fusion monster on the field. This prevents the activation of opponent's monster effect on the field as well as switching all of their monsters to defense. Well, except blank monsters, of course. This is this is easily accessible by resolving Prologue, which can be accessed by drawing it, of course, setting it via Buster Whelp, or by resolving Trap Trick, making it a very accessible lock engine. The fact the engine prevents activation is very important. Some people are comparing it to Skill Drain. 
which is incorrect. Since activation is prevented, only continuous effect can be used, and cards like Pancratops cannot out this lock. Also, the ability to equip a destruction sword monster from the graveyard to a Buster Blader monster, which is a quick effect, gives the player an ability to lock the opponent's extra deck summons as Chain Link 2 in response to things like Invocation, Forte Anaconda, or Red Eyes Fusion. The lock is susceptible to any form of removal, especially a spell or trap one. Not to mention hand traps. Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs might not be the most prevalent one, however it can be easily stopped by Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Since Prolock can summon Buster Dragon from the graveyard, Ghost Bell can negate that effect, even though the cost has to be paid. Not to mention the lock is only available for one turn, so should the opponent survive it, there's a real chance for a comeback. The best deck for this engine to use in is of course a dragon one. In today's meta I strongly suggest a dragon link. However, red eyes and blue eyes are also valuable packs. In such a deck there's little to no reason to play more than the core of the engine. Well, plus the free copies of Trap Track, since there are dragons that can be used for the fusion summon. Should the engine be used in a non-dragon deck, using the complete version with Buster Whoops included is necessary for the engine to work. And that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys liked this episode. I had a lot of fun writing it. Should you find this series enjoyable and helpful, remember to leave a comment and a like. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. One turn is all that's needed to capitalize on this lock and end the duel. The the duel. Buster Blader is and one of each bust This is easily acceptable. The lock is susceptible to any form of removal. Remember to leave your